PHP 8.2 is around the corner and today I would like to show you how to install it and talk a bit about this new version. So let's just hop to it and install PHP 8.2. If you have a previous version installed, you should remove it with apt purge. You also need to disable the Apache module if you're running Apache. And now let's install the latest version, which is not in the default apt repository yet, therefore we have to add the source that has it. So far so good, let's get that PHP 8.2 and see what's new. We should also install some essential extensions. There are so many and you can install them later when you need them. Don't forget that we need to enable them in the PHP configuration file. On my machine I have a patch installed so the file should be at this location. Let's save, enable the new module, restart Apache and that should do it. We have PHP 8.2. Let's check it. There you go, so let's see what's new and what has changed in this version. I will start with read-only classes. 
which are an improvement of a feature introduced in 8.1, read-only properties. Read-only classes make all their properties read-only, minimizing the code even further. This type of class offers a neat way of passing data structures between different processes and layers, which is why these objects are called data transfer objects. The true type has been added. Now the true, false and null types can be used as standalone types or parameters, properties, methods or as parts of a union type. Constants can now be used inside traits. This was not supported until now. They can only be overridden in extended classes and only if the constant is not final. The debug backtrace function is more secure now with the introduction of the sensitive parameter attribute. In previous versions, the stack trace would also output the value of the pin parameter, but now it will replace it with a sensitive parameter type of object and avoid the leakage of private information that you don't want to show when debugging. In the configuration file we edited at the beginning, now you can use the error log mode setting to set permissions for the error log file. Previously the permissions were set automatically to read write by everyone, but now you have control over that with this setting. A new extension has been added too. The new random extension is part of PHP, so there is no need to install it separately. The random namespace is reserved for this extension and now it's only need for random numbers generation. Multiple random number generator algorithms are supported and provided through the engine interface. The OpenSSL extension gets a new function which returns the required length of the key in bytes for any supported OpenSSL cipher. Other new functions that have been added to make your coding easier are Curl upkeep for the curl extension. This function will keep a HTTP2 curl connection alive.
With any parse quantity, you can parse data sizes with unit prefixes and return the actual size in bytes. No more boilerplate code is needed for this. Also, now you'll get a warning if you use invalid unit types in your PHP ini file. Memory reset peak usage resets the peak memory usage returned when you call the memory get peak usage function, which will help you get better insights of the memory used at a certain point. If you use prec functions with named capture groups, now you can exclude non-named groups with the slash n modifier. As you can observe, only the named groups are captured. Some functionalities have also been deprecated, for example, dynamic properties. This will now produce a deprecation notice, and you should change the code accordingly to improve its stability. You can also use the allow dynamic properties attribute if you only want to get rid of the notice. The UTF-8 encode and UTF-8 decode functions are also deprecated. You can change them with functions provided by the MB string extension, which we installed and enabled at the beginning. By the way, mbString will also have some of its encodings deprecated, for example, base64 or HTML entities, but you can replace them with built-in functions. Well, these are the most important changes you should know about if you need to get ready for the upgrade. PHP 8.2 will be released soon on November 24. Probably it will become available much later on many hosting plans, but you can already install and test it locally. So thanks again for watching and have a nice day. If you want to learn more coding related stuff, don't forget to subscribe.